We have to finish the quest in Stonehaven. Dan? Dan? Hang on, guys. My dad wants something. Dan! What? You've been on your computer all weekend. Shouldn't you go out and socialize with your friends? I am socializing, Artard. I'm logged on to an MMORPG with people from all over the world and getting XP with my party using TeamSpeak. I'm not a Artard. Okay, I'm still at Schweizer, hoping that it doesn't start snowing on me. And now you can see the lake behind me, the lake called Pandere. Pandere. <laughs> What did they call around here? Pondere. Right? It's Pondere. All right. That's the best I can do in, in, in uh, French. Why does anybody play a game? Why do little kids play games? They play games in order to simulate reality and to learn about reality. And so games can be very fanciful or games can be very realistic. But in all cases, games really are partially about fun. But it's really more about how we learn and how we play with ideas and how we are played by the game so that we can restructure the way that we understand. So games are really important, not simply just as playthings, but as learning things. And in fact, when we study what happens in games, we're really, to a large extent, studying how we learn. How does learning happen? Um, in addition, games are about the most motivating thing, I think, probably, well, you know, I mean, aside, f aside from chemicals. Games are about as motivating as anything that, that we see in life. Kids will just play games endlessly, on and on and on, playing game after game after game. Why? They're incredibly motivated to play the game. So the study of games is also, to a large extent, the study of motivation. Um, of course, we can't get out of talking about addiction when we talk about games. Games are so motivating that sometimes we get drugged in, we get dragged, <laughs> drugged is probably the right word, we get dragged into the game and we end up in the game hour after hour after hour. What's that all about? The study of games can also help us understand what it is to become addicted and what's the nature of addiction. And of course, games are just about the definition of fun. When we're playing, when we're playing some sort of game, when we're playing some sort of thing, rule-structured activity, not, not unlike boarding is or skiing is at a ski resort. It's a rule-structured activity that you can excel at and you can get better at. Now, of course, in sport type of games is also the idea of adrenaline, right? And adrenaline isn't exactly what we mean when we say motivation or addiction, but maybe there's a part for that to play as well. And finally, and from the standpoint of this class, I think what's really, really interesting about games is that they're what I might call friction-free information consumption. Friction-free meaning it's not a lot of drag, right? When you read an encyclopedia, there's a lot of drag. That's not friction-free. But when you learn through gaming, when you learn through participating in some sort of game, you don't feel the drag. You don't feel the effort. And so it's a very interesting thing for us to look at and think about in this class, the idea of friction-free information consumption and along the way, lots and lots of learning.